everyone! Okay, I was just checking to see if this is actually recording. This is my third time filming this video, um, because the first time I was trying to film back at my desk, I don't know if you can see it, you can't, but my chair is over there, and I had books stacked up because my camera was too high and the chair was too low, so I was trying to even things out and it wasn't really working. So instead, I am filming at my mirror, and my camera is... Um, perched precariously on top of my coffee maker, so hopefully they don't take a note, guys. Alright, so, I just wanted to film a video about some of my favorite spring and summer lip colors. Um, I don't wear lipstick often, but when I do, I really enjoy it. It's just that I have pretty dry and cracked lips, and, um, no matter what I do, it's really hard for me to keep them hydrated. So, I don't have many lipsticks, but I really like seeing them on other people, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, to start off with, I have this lipstick by Sula, and it is a natural lipstick um, in the shade Russian Spy. Now, this is just like a deep fuchsia color. Looks like that right there. Um, the thing about this is it looks darker in the tube than it does on the skin or on your lips. I have a swatch of it right there, and it looks kind of brighter on my hand than it actually does in the tube, which I don't know if I like, because I kind of liked how it was, like, the deep berry color, but that's all right. Um, now, over top of it, because uh, I'm wearing these right now, I don't know if I said that, over top of that, I am wearing, um, a CoverGirl lipstick, here's the tube, and this is pink and proper, you can see that, and this is a, sorry, I heard a noise, this is a brighter pink um, a brighter fuchsia color. Almost not a fuchsia, like it's kind of uh, different. I, I don't know. It has some shimmer throughout it. And this is a, where'd it go? Swatch of it right there on my hand. I have these swatched already because, like I said, I have filmed this video before. This smells so good. I love the smell of CoverGirl lipsticks. Now, I really like how this just brightens up um, Russian Spy. The combination of them is really pretty because I think sometimes this one can be a little too bright and this one not enough. So I really like them together. The next lipstick I have is another CoverGirl lipstick and it is Heavenly Paradisique. I will never say this right. I don't know how to say it. If someone knows how to say that, then uh, put it in the comments below because I certainly don't. This one is more of a um, lip lipstick that enhances your natural lip color, at least for me, and it looks like this, and it is just a straight lipstick, no shimmer, no sheen, no nothing, and I really enjoy that. I like to wear it more for every day or to go to class or to hang out with friends um, rather than to go out, unless I'm going out for like a dinner, but if I'm going out, you know, for a night out with the girls, then I like to wear something brighter like this. Um, the next color I have is by, is by Mari Chikosi. Um, it is a, oh, and the swatch of, uh, the one I just showed is right there. I really, really like it. Anyways, the next one I have is by Mara Chikosi, and it is right here. It's more of like a bronzy nude instead of a, like a straight nude that kind of washes out your lips, and it has some, a little bit of shimmer to it, but not much, and the swatch of that is right there on the end. It's kind of a bad swatch, actually. There we go, right there on the end. Um, my mom used to work for Mara Chikosi, so I have a lot of their lipsticks. This one, though, I feel like, even though it does have some sheen to it, it's not quite enough. Sometimes I like to wear yet another CoverGirl lipstick on top of it. This is called Nearly There. The Mara Chikosi one is called Hula Girl. <laughs> this one is Nearly There. And it is a another nude color, but more of a brown than a bronze, and it looks like this, and I'll swatch that right here, ignore the gross cut I have in my hand, so that's right there, and it is lighter than the Mari Chikosi shade, I really like it to put, to put it on top, um, if I don't want something so, like, serious looking, so I really like those two together. And my last lip color is probably by far my favorite. Um, it is by Stila, and it is a longwear li liquid lip color in the shade Petal. And I love 
this. But I kind of, um, I'm always like hesitant to wear it because it costs a lot, at least to me. It was $22. Uh, but I just adore the packaging and the color. And it is yet again more of like a natural lip color. It looks like that. But it's kind of, it's brighter than the CoverGirl lipstick, at least. In my opinion, I'll put them next to each other. I'm only doing a teeny tiny swatch of this because um, a little goes a long way. Let me just blend that up. Yeah, as you can see, this is the CoverGirl one and this is the Seal one. It's definitely brighter. Um, it stands out more and is just the like the prettiest, perfect pink. It's like kind of like a, a a Barbie pink almost. Yeah, I would say it's more like a Barbie pink. And I really really like this. And it's gonna last me forever. <laughs> Anyways, um, so those are my lip colors. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you guys aren't watching this at 3.30 in the morning, right after I put it up. But anyways, um, oh, and see, I was just looking at my hand, and this one's like, once it dries, it's, it's there. It's not very movable, unlike, you know, lipsticks, you can rub them around, and they, they come off throughout the day, but the long wear liquid, liquid lip color is definitely true to its name. Anyways.